Men, what annoys you about other men? Stop trying to fight the rest of us at the bar. I want to drink and have a good time, not ruin my life lol. That guy who is super chill with the boys but turns into an obnoxious know-it-all competitive freak when a girl shows up. Like dude chill. When dudes put other guys down in front of others to make themselves feel better. I can't stand the one-upper types. If you're having a bad day, they've had a worse one. You're tired? You aren't tired like they've been just shut up and let others have their moment. How weird some of y'all get when women are around. Dudes that have to be the center of attention. Stop circling a taken woman in hopes to score. Fuck them people. When some friend starts to treat you bad when there is some hot woman nearby. Macho tough guy performance. The guy who gets angry or insecure when his girl is near other men. I have a co-worker whose boyfriend is like that, and I and other guys on shift have to keep quiet when she's on the phone with him otherwise he'll freak out all day and blow up her phone. Their constant need to dick measure. If you're taken, hype your other brothers up, be a wingman to the single brothers out there sometimes they need some confidence. I don't have a problem with many, but the ones that I just can't stand to be around are the locker room talk kind of guys. Bragging they always get pussy, and onto the next slut, I gave it to her like. I think we all know these kind of us wipes. Yep can't fucking stand them. Could be as much of a symptom of the modern era as anything, but complete inability to plan anything ahead of time. No one seems to think about what they are doing tomorrow. You make a plan and everyone is like yeah sure that sounds fun and then it falls apart in the hours leading up to it because no one actually contemplated whether they are available. The guys that always have to be alpha male biggest baddest best at anything everything over the other guys in the room. Like seriously, your inadequacy insecurity issues should not be my problem and yet these guys are practically always a problem. Men who won't ever commit to shit. Everyone one is a soft yes unless something else comes up. Ask a mate to come out and support a cause or do an activity and as long as he can't come up with something better to do he is probably gonna maybe come out. Just be a big boy and say no I don't want to do that. It's embarrassing. Those guys who try to act alpha but by being overly aggressive to anyone who looks in their way, like that's gonna impress someone or it's gonna make some girl's panties drop. Chill out dude, I'm just trying to get drunk, sit down, I'll buy you a beer. Guys who use the word alpha or beta to describe themselves or others. Tough guy mentality. I'm all for masculinity, but you don't have to prove how badass you are constantly. Examples. I beat up so and so or can. I work 8,000 hours a week. I fucked X amount of girls. Actually, to hone in. It's the guys who brag about working a ridiculous amount of hours in a week or whatever. Like dude, I actually feel sorry for you. As someone who worked 70 hours a week in a steel mill at one point, it fucking sucks. I prefer my 40 hours a week office job that pays more. I don't get it. Edit thanks for the upvotes. Macho bullshit. Probably every workplace has them but there always seems to be a couple guys that are contrarian just for the sake of appearing like the smartest person in the room. It's like dude, I want this meeting to end on time so I can pick my kids up from school, there's no need for a seven-point debate on the merits of switching to blue highlighters. Acting completely different when women show up. Guys who judge other men for not being masculine enough. Shit stupid. One guys that cut call, especially if they are over 25. Two guys that judge men that have traditional masculine interest as a alpha male bro or assuming they are compensating for something. Three men that negatively judge men who don't have traditional male interest. For men that are too emotional and quick to fight. Masculinity is not tied to the amount of bitches you fuck. One-uppers. Those that constantly have to find a way to be the alpha but really their insecurities are just spewing from their mouth. Passive-aggressive dick-swinging contests. 
being passive aggressive at all. The amount of men who don't wash their hands when leaving bathroom. Like gross guys come on take 15 seconds to scrub the germs off please. Especially the guys coming out of the toilet. Ah. Uh. Same thing that annoys me about women when they act a certain way one minute and another when other people are involved. Also trying to be an alpha male when a woman is present. Dudes that are clearly compensating for insecurity by acting extra masculine. Showing other men nudes or otherwise risque photos their significant other sent them. Completely classless act. I love tits, man, but I don't want to see your girlfriends, because she's not showing them to me herself. Old dudes who haven't done shit thinking they can talk down to me because I'm younger. It's always the sack of shit failures that pull seniority. That they ruin women for the rest of us. Peacocking. It makes you look ridiculous. Hate it endlessly. People who do locker room talk all the time to anyone about any and every female. Like saying she's really hot that's fine even describing what you find attractive about her is totally cool, especially when we are having a conversation about dating or something. However, when they're spouting shit like I'd rail that five ways to Sunday every ten seconds it's weird to me. The inability to talk about anything but football. I'm outgoing, talkative, and like to dance and make an ass out of myself. I swear I'm not trying to hook up with your girlfriend and her friends stop trying to fight me. I'm a male man and must admit this is more common than one may think. I get annoyed when their mothers complain about them to me. Failure to leave, never had a job, just spends all his time in basement playing video games and etc. Had a 90-year-old mom say she hates her son because she was losing her house due to him stealing from her. I have to keep my mouth shut because I blame the parents for raising them to be such. Whatever happened with talking about the weather or keep the bills? Thinking it's manly to be always right, condescending, or dismissive of other people's ideas especially if they are women. I see it a lot in my industry. How so many men throw other men under the bus to gain the favor of the women around them, especially in this sub? How so many men are so into gatekeeping when it comes to new people in the communities for their hobbies and interests? Like you cannot do that well unless you adhere to a stereotype of a typical fan. How so many men who are older than I am having the emotional intelligence of teenagers? When they are your best friend but they act like a super fucking dick to you j in front of other people, especially chicks, especially when his chick is present so there is literally zero reason for that dude. Selfishness Why the fuck is everything a competition? How fast other men will defend women when you have a reasonable grievance? One of my exes said my mother should die for being a smoker. When I talk about how she was mean-spirited, and I'm not sure why since I felt I was good to her. People always reply with, oh you were a nice guy. Okay fine I'll play. Being ignorant in ways that are easily solved but refusing to engage. Reducing everything down to sex or dick size as if the same variability isn't present not only biologically but in preferences across the board. Thinking that physical looks are remotely a good indicator of someone else's worth or compatibility with you it's dehumanizing even though I accept physicality is a real thing. Locker room talk but without it being a constructive chat to share tips and tricks just to brag and reduce women. Needless competition over things that are beyond petty really. Repetitive, impersonal conversation styles and totally misplaced aggression. I just wanna hang and discover the universe. When I was younger and used to work out I remember this one time I was at a bar and this dude came up to me and said so you think you're all big and tough basically trying to start shit. I looked at him and said please don't hurt me he started laughing. I was with friends and didn't want to cause a scene even though I knew I would have smashed on him. Some people just always trying to hate on another bro 